What does algebra deal with? And what will we learn in this course? Let's first start with arithmetic. In school, you learned how to add, multiply, subtract, and divide numbers. You may have learned about fractions, radicals, and other operations between numbers. Arithmetic is useful whenever you have a problem where you can get the answer by calculation. For example, suppose you're going to a store. You look up all the products that you're going to buy in a magazine and record their prices. How much money do you need to take with you so that you have enough to purchase all the products? This is a basic arithmetic problem. You add up all the numbers, and the resulting number is the answer to the problem. In algebra, we rather deal with problems where we need to find the answer without being able to directly calculate what the answer is. Algebra is like a number puzzle. We deal with problems where we have to figure out what something is from the condition that it satisfies. Here's an example of an algebra problem. In the ancient world, weight was determined by a balance scale. On one side of the scale, say the left side, we place the object we want to weigh. And on the other side of the scale, we place equal weights so that the scale balances. For illustrative purposes, say that the weights were equal sized stones. Whenever we weigh something on this balance scale, we get the weight of the object in terms of stones. For instance, if on the left side we have an apple, and on the right side we have one stone with the scale balanced, it will mean that the apple has the same weight as one stone. This would mean that one apple, assuming that all apples are equally sized, would be one stone. Let's say instead that two apples are balanced with one stone equally. This would mean that one apple, assuming all apples are equally sized again, weighs a half a stone. If we have three apples balancing with two stones, this would mean that each apple weighs two-thirds of a stone. An arithmetic problem involving scales can be the following problem. Say an apple weighs half a stone and a pear weighs one-third of a stone. If a person bought 10 apples and 15 pears, how much is the total weight? This is not a puzzle. We know exactly what we have to do. We know how to add fractions and how to multiply them. So to get the answer, we get 10 times a half, that's for the apples, and 15 times a third, which is for the pears. That gets you 5 plus 5, which is 10 stones altogether. This is not an algebra problem because all we have to do is calculate from the information given to us. Now compare this problem to the following problem. Suppose that seven apples and two pears balance with three stones. We also know that two apples and one pear balance with one stone. The problem is to find the weight of one apple from this information. This is an algebra problem. It's not immediately clear from the information what the answer is. It's sort of a number puzzle. Find the numbers for the apple and a pear in terms of their weight that will make those two conditions true. We can try to guess the numbers and see if they work, but that's not easy. The answer does not need to be an integer, which is a whole number, as the weight can be a fraction too. And there are too many different possibilities to check. Instead of guessing, we want a method of solving this problem. Let's see how we solve this puzzle. Note in the course of the solution that our method of solving the problem will be rather clever. This is because algebra is sort of a puzzle, and puzzles need clever ideas to solve them. We start with the fact that two apples and one pear balance with one stone. On the left side of the scale, we have two apples and a pear, and on the right side, we have a stone. Now, on the left side, we have four apples and two pears, and on the right side, we have two stones. The other fact that we know is that seven apples and two pairs balance with three. Therefore, if we take away four apples and two pairs from the left, then take away two stones from the right, the balance will be preserved. Because four apples and two pairs equate with two stones, so we're removing the same weight from both sides. But when we remove four apples and two pairs, from seven apples and two pears, we are left with three apples on the left side of the scale. On the right side, we had three stones and are now left with one stone after removing two stones. Therefore, we are left with three apples on the left side of the scale 
and one stone on the right side of the scale. From here, we can conclude that the apple weighs one-third of a stone. We solved this puzzle by using a clever idea of adding and subtracting equal weights to isolate the apples by themselves without the pairs. We didn't guess the answer. We were able to deduce it, almost like a detective in a mystery, from the information that we had available. At this stage, we can ask two questions. First is, why not guess? Why not try integers, say 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so forth, for the weight of the apple and see if it works? After we see that it doesn't, then we can try using fractions, and guess some of them until we find one. The other question is, how am I supposed to come up with that idea to solve this balance scale puzzle? There's no way I would have thought of doing that independently. The answer to the first question is that it's usually a bad strategy. Sometimes guessing or playing around with numbers does work, and in that case you found the answer. Other times there are so many different choices to guess at that you'll have a very hard time trying to get the answer by guessing at it. If we have a general method of approaching such questions, then we can get the answer pretty quickly. To answer the second question, that's exactly what this course is about. The course is to teach you algebraic thinking, 